Welcome back to our series on circular linked list inside of Python. So in our previous video, we described what a circular linked list was, uh, some of the advantages, disadvantages, and then we began coding. So we coded our node object, we coded our, at least the beginning of our circular linked list object, and we defined a couple of methods. We have a traversal method, inserting at the end of our list, and then inserting at the beginning of our list. So we're gonna do one more insertion. This one is gonna be inserting at the middle of our list. And so again, it will take self. It's also gonna have a reference node and then a piece of data. <clears throat> and so what do we do? Well, let's just talk about a couple different things. We'll just try to handle some stuff. So we'll say if reference node equals none, then you know what you, eh, I think what we'll do here is we can like raise a basically um, a value error, error. So you can say raise value error. Um, uh, the reference node can't be uh, can't be none. And then I forgot that's gonna have to be that one. Be none. Perfect. So that's just kind of handles. You know, they give us a weird. You know, no, that just obviously is not gonna work or something like that. So uh, ha handle, basically here, we're gonna say handle empty node case. Uh, that would really be a situation, I guess, if you kind of had an empty list, but again, they, they really wouldn't have that situation. The other one is <clears throat> if we're inserting after the end node. So if we're inserting after the end node, um, I'm just gonna call my insert end method. So if reference node equals self.end, then what I'm going to say is self dot insert. Uh, what you can do is, uh, sorry, insert and and then the piece of data as well. So that's just again. So for inserting on the end node, we just use the insert end method that we defined up above. And then from here, <clears throat> what we can do. Let me do this. Uh, if it's the end one use the existing uh, insert end method. I mean, technically you probably could do it with the, the beginning one too, but I'll just assume we wanna leave that one out for right now. So otherwise uh, it's a true mid. And so we'll, at least that's how I like to call it, true mid. And so again, we'll now define a new node. And so we'll say node dot data and then we'll say reference next equals reference node after the next node. So we're grabbing the node after the reference node. And we're gonna say reference node dot next node is now gonna point to our new node. And then the new node dot next node is gonna go and equal the old uh, basically the node that came after the reference node, because basically we're sticking it in between, right? So we're gonna stick it in between. So now we're gonna have, you know, 15 was pointing to eight, now 35 is gonna be pointing to eight. That's basically what we're doing. <clears throat> and then I guess if, you know, if you really wanted to, um, we could also do something. So, so if it's self.head, then we can say, hey, just do the beginning method as well. Again, this is just more for, I guess, or organization purposes. Technically, you know, you, you don't have to add this component. I guess if you just wanted to handle special cases, you could. Um, but really, at, at this point, this is just demonstrating you, you know, you have access to these methods. You can call them from inside that particular object as well. It doesn't mean you have to, but it's good to know, hey, you got the option if you need it. So let us try, what is it? I wanna insert it first before we move on. So I'll make sure to run this. And then what we'll do is we'll say after insertion. So we'll grab the first node. And then what we'll do is we'll just say first underscore node will equal our circular list dot head. So we'll grab the head and then we'll insert it. Insert, uh, insert value between two nodes. And so we'll say circular list dot insert underscore mid first node 
and then we'll say we'll insert a, uh, a value and then I'm gonna grab this we'll say after well now that I think about it <sighs> Well, I guess that's fine if you assume if you assume that you want it to come after. Yeah. Well, let's just take a look. Yeah. That one won't work. Let me take this one out. Maybe I spoke too soon. I'm going to put it back to that and let's see what happens. I like that one better. And let me just say, let's just say I got the end one. Because even if it was the end one, it's still going to come after. I like that one better, actually. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that, just because I think that's a little bit more... Again, I, I guess it's where you were trying to insert it. So if you want it to insert before, it, would be, eh, it wouldn't be necessarily more complicated, but you would just have to keep that in mind. Because really, in this situation, if you're assuming that you want to insert after that particular node... I wouldn't have the head one in there first because that head one's just going to insert before it. And so that doesn't make sense. But with the N1, that's okay because the N1 always just inserts after it. So it really kind of depends what you're trying to do. Technically, the way I have it written right now, I'm assuming it's going to be inserting after. So it doesn't really make sense to have the head one in there. So, hey, there you go. You saw different ways of doing it, right? <laughs> Maybe that's a good way to think of it. Um, I'm going to run that one last time. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, now that we've talked about insertion, let's talk about deletion. So we'll say delete beginning. So this is going to obviously delete from the beginning of our list. And so it's just going to be self. And then we're going to say if self.head does not equal none. So basically we have a non-empty list. Um, grab the node that comes after the head. So grab the node that comes after the head. And so we'll we'll give it some kind of random name, after head, something like that. So we'll say self.head, and then we'll grab the node that comes after it. And then what we'll do is we'll have that last node now point to the after head. So we'll say um, have the last node point to the node after the head self.end.nextNode will now point to our after head. So by bypassing it, that is how we're kind of deleting it. Remember, during the whole garbage collection process, it will delete it then. And then set the head property. And we'll say self.head equals after head. And then else, we have an empty list, so we're going to say raise value error. Um, the list is empty. I don't know if it really should be a truly a value error, but I mean, it's in a sense, <clears throat> it's going to return none in a sense. So you're basically trying to insert something into nothing. So that's kind of why I chose the value error. Technically, there's other ones. There's like a type error that you could do too, but it, it kind of, they were kind of going back and forth as to, I would say, which one. Okay, so now that we've deleted from the beginning, we're going to delete from the end. And so for the most part, you will see it's actually going to be quite similar. So I'm actually going to copy the bunch of that code just to save some time. And then from here, what we're going to do is I'll delete all of this. And then we'll say grab the head and say we'll say current node equals self.head. And then we're going to traverse till the end. So this is the really the... This is really the only one where we don't kind of have that instant one. I'll show you in a little bit exactly kind of what we're doing. So here's going to be the, I, I would say, the tricky part. So we're going to say while current node dot next node dot next node does not equal self dot head. Remember, we don't want the last node. We want the node before the last node. And so the one that's going to be before the last node is if we go next node dot next node equals to self dot head. That will be the one that will be basically the second to last node. Hopefully that one makes sense, but you'll see in a second why that's the case. 
And so once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to reassign the tail. And we'll say self dot end equals the current node because we got the second to last node. And then we're going to have that current node dot next node equal uh, self dot head. And so because of this one, we now have to traverse the end of the list because remember, we've got to get the node before it, before it. And so here, have the new last node point to the head. So the one right before it. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's define deletion in the middle. And then I think we'll do list size and then we'll call it quits. I always check my notes because sometimes I swear. <laughs> Okay, so this one is, we're gonna delete in the middle and then we're gonna also do a position. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently, just kind of give you a variety of different ways you can tackle this. So technically, you could kind of do something similar up here where you have a reference node, but I'll kind of explain in a second where you might run into problems with that. But we can handle a couple of special instances. So for example, if position is zero, then delete first. I am assuming that's gonna be zero base, so that, that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So if position equals zero, then self delete beginning, right? And then return. So basically, if it's the first node, just delete it, call it quits, be all happy. Now, the other thing that we're gonna to have to do is if position, is equal to self dot list size, and then here's the kicker, minus one. Then what you need to do is self dot delete end. Oh, I don't know if I want it. Yeah, that's fine. Again, this might confuse people a little bit because remember this would give us four and it's going from one, two, three, four. So technically, if you're going from zero, it's gonna be zero to three. So you need to do one less than the actual list size, even though your list size is technically counting what I would say is a little bit different. You just gotta keep that in mind a little bit when you're switching between um, you know, the last other one and then this and that. So is the size of the list minus one, uh, then delete. And then something too you can do is if uh, you could do something like uh, print you picked your position larger than the list itself, something like that. So that way you can um, exit it. Because obviously if it's greater, well really, um, you want to be greater than that one. So if it's greater than the, the list size itself, then you kind of want to exit out of it as well. Otherwise, we can go and do just a regular deletion. So we'll grab the node after the head. And so we'll say current node, because remember, we are assuming that we're handling the beginning concept. So we'll say self.head.next node. We'll initialize the count, initialize the count. And then what we'll do is we'll set it equal to zero and then traverse until you reach the position. And so we'll say while count is less than or equal position, then count equals count plus one and then current node equals the old current node, but after we've gone to the next node. And then once we reach the point we need to, then we'll say current node dot next node is going to equal current node dot next node dot next node. So basically, again, you're just bypassing it. Have it point to the one after 
the deleted one, something like that. If that's even proper English. <laughs> what did I do? Current no dot next. Ow. Look at that. Okay. Um, let's test it out before we. Okay. So what we'll do is circular list deletes underscore beginning. We'll copy it and then and and then where is it? Do I not have my mid one there? Yeah, and then we'll do um circular list delete mid and then I want to delete the third one and then we'll say print after deletion what happened oh I realized I haven't done <laughs> that was stupid I didn't define my list size one let me define my list size one okay so this is just going to return the size of the list um with this one, I'll kind of mention something uh, after I write it. So first, grab the head. Okay, so that's going to be the current node. It's going to be self.head. And then the count will equal zero. And then from here, traverse until you reach the head again, basically. And really, it's basically what we were doing up here, if you think about it. So I'm going to copy that and then just put it down here. But what we're going to do is we're going to increase the count. That's all. So we're going to say count equals count plus one. And then we want to make sure at the end of all this, uh, dot next node. Okay. And then we want to remember at the end of all this to return the count. So go to the next node, increase the count, reassign it. If you reach the head again, break it. That returns the count. Hopefully we're good. Okay, so now we get 90, 50, and 20. Yes, yes, okay. And then remember again, I know it's a little bit weird, it's zero base. So if I'm saying delete the third one, it's zero, one, two, three. Again, just to make things complicated, right? <laughs> All right. So we've defined the list size. We've talked about deletion methods, beginning, end, and middle. Uh, really, that kind of does it for this video. I think I've covered enough. In the next one, we'll talk about getting the previous, yes, getting the previous node, reversing our list, and then I think we only have splitting the list and that actually does it. This actually might be a quicker series. I mean, it kind of makes sense. We've, we've done linked lists. So we're really just kind of expanding on the idea. But regardless, if you have any questions at this point, feel free to put them down in the comments below. If you caught an error or something like that, please let me know so that way I can make a note on the video. I don't think I did, but who knows. Um, you could do like an index here, error here if you wanted to. You could raise like a, an index error or something like that. You could say something like, hey, you're, the index you provided is way too big. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's it for this one. So uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.